श्री गुरुभ्यो नम गुरु ब्रह्म गुरु विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम रेवियर स्वामीजी रेस्पेक्टेड टीचर्स स्टूडेंट्स माय डियर चिल्ड्रन what a joy to be integral part of the interesting deliberation of swami ji's teachings 125 years before he visited the tanjore district in tanjore he made a, a powerful statement arise awake stop not till the goal is achieved how prolific how inspirational how professional this word is that inspired me having hail from tanjore district i carefully studied this kumbakonam speech that gave me so much energy enthusiasm drive determination character for me to set a new discipline in my life some of his powerful quotes inspired me he talks about thoughts a thought becomes action action becomes habit habit becomes character character becomes your destiny so nurturing your thought is ultimate that's it you sow the right kind of seeds you get a desired results right and that's truly powerful i realized when i was young i born into a very challenging circumstances for subsistence my parents have to drive hard and he starts inspired me i went to wake up this mission A few years my mental makeup has changed that was a driving point for me to have this conversation with you today let me share it with you his powerful message that better to wear out than to rust out inspired me hard work that's the message he gives integrating your heart and mind is eternal that's why you have to identify yourself time and again swami ji says if you start introspecting yourself the world is yours if you recognize when there is righteousness in you there is beauty in your character when there is beauty in you then harmony is given when there is harmony within you there is order in the nation when there is order in the nation there is peace in the world that's what is advocates so introspect desire inequality ignorance these three forces drives this planet we have to understand you have to recognize control desire is a discipline either you have discipline or regret that's the message he gives by the statement so when you understand that you have a control desire freedom comes in there's a moderation in your substance inequality you have to reduce and you have to bring in equality to do that you have to recognize swami ji says you are divine divinity is in you 
you trust yourself, you will see the God in you. It's easy to trust others. Difficult to trust yourself, isn't it? Swamiji says. And recognizing this opportunity, you are going to perform. If you don't believe in yourself, you don't believe in God. If you understand the divinity, you're going to trust yourself. If you introspect, you glorify your thoughts and you make sure the right kind of thoughts. See good things, speak good things, hear good things. Because it's important that you recognize the duty becomes your desire. It's a delight. Work is worship. Ability to think with a positive momentum. He says, life is love. Hate is death. Expansion is life. Contraction is death. What a powerful message. But we have to interpret and practice in our action. And that's what he says. The positivity and the energy levels will change if you keep reading his thoughts. That's what happened to me. And once you understand, continuing education is a must. That's why he said, schedule ignorance. Ignorance drives the world. But if you start shedding your ignorance, you get the enlightenment. So keep learning. That's very important. Irrespective of the profession you belong to, youngsters, you can redefine this world. You can understand the dynamics of the change and adopt yourself. The biggest discovery through his teaching, I recognize, is our ability to adopt ourselves with the changing dynamics. That's prolific. Adaptation. You can alter your mind by altering your life. You can change as long as a willingness to change. Ability to change, a willingness to change. That's what he instilled. Hard work, there's no substitute for hard work. That's why he said better to wear out than to rust out. So these are some of the thoughts which still drives within me for me to be purposeful as a human being. He also went on to say, you are the co-owners of the world, this planet, the cosmic energy, the land, water, fire, sky and the wind. In this cosmic system, you are a small particle, molecule, and you have the same five powers within you, that is Pancha Bhutam. If you understand, you have to synchronize with the nature. The rest are all incident. You are healthy, you are positive, you are constructive, and you are strong. He says life is a playground, gymnasium, where you have to be strong. We can only be strong if we understand that we have to drive towards the truth. If there are conflicts within you, if there is no inner harmony, you are not going to be strong. Your self-esteem will be poor, you will be pretending. That's not what he is asking for. He is saying very clearly that recognize this opportunity, recognize this drive towards the truth. Driving towards the truth is a message which he wants to instill in you. How will you drive towards the truth? Unless you understand that you have to build humanity, that's eternity. You are the eternal evidence in this planet.
your physical body, your mental body, your subtle body. You have a transition. So aim at soul is simply saves. Aim at soul. That's the driving factor. If you aim at soul, it is potentially powerful for you to redefine your way forward. A physical body, what you're seeing, your mental body is equally important. So you put your right kind of thoughts and that's what happened to me. When I went to the institution and read this teachings, my life has changed. My life has completely changed. My thought process has changed. My hard work was redefined. My drive was redefined. My energy levels have been positive, productive, constructive. There's so much compassion comes in. There's so much love comes in. You like the whole world. I recognize, I love myself. I recognize that I have to love others. When he says inequality, you have to convert into equality. That is an opportunity for me. Drive to us gender equality. Drive to us equality. Reduce the income inequality when it comes to my profession as a banker. In terms of economics, haves and have nots, as they say, the society's gross welfare will come if there is a positivity, if you reduce the gap. And that's what the opportunity is all about. This, this crisis pandemic is redefining it. The economic risk and governance, social risk and governance, environmental risk and governance, human tragedy, what we have witnessed, and the allied values which we need to inculcate in this changing planet is transformational, truly inspirational. And Vivekananda's teachings are so inspirational for us to recognize. We can alter our way forward. And that's what he, he said 125 years before in, in Kumbhakonam, in Tanjur again. These messages are truly reflection of uh, today's need. We are in a defining moment, the digital acceleration, fourth industrial revolution. We are not location centric, we are information centric. The experience what you have in this new world order is, is a different experience. The world is changing for good. We have to establish sustainability. We have to eradicate extreme poverty, gender equality as youth. We have to bring in food security to this planet. We have to make sure global warming and climate change is an important mission. So protect this planet, Swamiji says. Rising sea level, increasing temperature, animal extinction. These are not ordinary issues. These are extraordinary issues. These issues need to be fixed. It means you have to submit yourself for creating a carbon neutral society. The five powers which Swamiji has mentioned, you are a co-owner in this. You have to work on it. If you don't discipline yourself, you will not be productive and positive. It's if you don't synchronize with the nature, you will not be productive. That's what precisely this crisis is all about, isn't it? The nature was oppressed and suppressed for a very long time. If you have to stay a positive and constructive, recognizing the importance of nature, our values are ethical and moral, then the world will change. The world will create better citizenship. Not only we have to create a better world, we have to create better citizenship, Swamiji says. Because the future belongs to you, you as youngsters, you as performers. You are the thinkers, you are going to redefine, you are the architect of this new planet. And this crisis itself has got some positive sides. The positive sides of this pandemic is telling you more than ever Vivekananda's teachings are eternal. If you practice these teachings, if you instill in your daily walk of life, if you introspect, if you practice in, in, in your discipline, the drive, the determination, 
your opportunity to redefine yourself and this world is eternal. And that's what the purpose of living, isn't it? And he also insists, set your vision, set your goals, making, making sure that you have an absolute commitment for yourself, your family, and then again to this planet. Be good to others. Think good, do good. And that's what the solution is all about. That is what is arise, awake. Stop not till the goal is achieved. More than ever, his teachings are valid. In this redefining moment, truly transformational, Swami Vivekananda's words. May I call upon all the youngsters, read his teachings, practice his teachings. The purposeful journey in this planet will become more productive and meaningful, constructive, positive, and we create a better world, better solution to, to this world. Thank you once again for your kind attention. Home Guru Sri Guru Bihonamaha. Are you all?